Everybody is counter HD here, and Jesus Christ. That game was it was very stressful, that whole first half. Okay, but you know, we came out with the dub, but I'm going to just break it down a little bit. Yeah. So first things first, we got to acknowledge how poorly we did in the first half. I mean, as you can see here, it was 7-13. to Thank God they can't make uh, PATs, because I think that gave us just a tad bit of motivation. Not much, but... You know, I think it helped a little. But that, that kick return off the field goal, kind of painful. Hey, I, I kind of thought it would happen, but, like, I was like, no. But, yeah, it still happened, so very painful. But you know what? We came back in the third quarter, and we handled business. We got that pick six. We got our offense going again. And you know what? It led us to the victory. So, yeah. Now, Kyler. Kyler threw his ordinary game pick now, I guess. He just has to throw one. But uh, honestly, pretty good game for him. He didn't have any passing touchdowns because the passing game was actually kind of held down. But you know what? He had 316 uh, passing yards, only six incompletions, and he had a rushing touchdown. So all around, he had a pretty good game. Not a very good game, but a pretty good game. And also, James Conner, it doesn't look like he did much, but he got us two touchdowns, so I'll gladly take that any day. Ew, that was awesome. Now, here, here's the big thing where I want to address here. Christian Kirk and A.J. Green. They kind of carried us. Kirk, every, like every third down play you need, every fourth third down play you need, he's the guy making the play. It makes no sense. He's just always open on those. But yeah, it, it it makes no sense. But he's there, and I'll take it. AJ Green, I I kind of say this is his first good game. He had like sixty yards in a touchdown last week, but still, I personally believe it's it's his first good game. Even though he didn't get a touchdown, he still handled his business and led us to the win. So yeah. And then uh, you gotta you gotta mention Byron Murphy here, okay? Byron saved us, okay? Without yeah, without Byron, I I'm not sure if we're winning this game. He got two interceptions, one on like the 15 yard line when they're about to score on us, and then one he took it for six. So that that honestly saved us. There's just no other way around it. He. Yeah, it was beautiful. He handled business, and you know, it worked. Now, now our off points here. Okay, Rondell Moore. If he had one receiving yard and three rushing yards. So in total, four. He had four yards. We just we couldn't feed the ball to him. We couldn't just do anything for our offense. Also, Hopkins. I understand Hopkins was coming off that rib injury. Uh, I'm not sure what he did, but um, still, though, for our best receiver to only get three receptions uh, with 21 yards, it's pretty bad. But you know what? These two carried the load, so I'll take it. Also, Chase doing what Chase does, by the way, being that dual threat he is. So, yeah. yeah also, Max Williams. He started off good early and on that first drive, and then just kind of we really didn't see him again. So yeah, but yeah our defense. It's, I something I don't understand though is that why are we such a good run defense, and then they get one good run on us, and then we just let up the whole drive for runs. It, it truly is. Um, it's truly astonishing. It makes no sense in like. Just how, you know? I swear. I will say, though. I will say. Their defense definitely was a problem. Okay, we couldn't get those, like, third and... Ones like we couldn't get those okay until later in the game, which was kind of annoying. 
Okay, Connor wasn't able to be that big body we needed until we just swapped house, and then he was he was ready to go. So yeah, it's kind of annoying though, cause you know that's what you need from him and expect, but it just ain't happening. So yeah. Now let's address Trevor Lawrence real fast and this whole Jags team. Trevor Lawrence, he had a, well, say, eh, honestly, kind of a good game for a rookie. Now, take the one pick was not his fault. Well, uh, when Byron just picked it up, basically, that one's not his fault. His receiver dropped it. Can't do anything but that second one. It was just a dime to Byron. There's no way around that. But yeah. James Robinson, he killed it. He killed it. He, the amount of, yards both ways he, yeah look at look at he had a freaking um had 140 some yards there's with a touchdown he handled his business it, it wasn't until later in the game though but still you know what that was actually his first good game yeah he, he toasted us and marvin jones he was their best receiver but realistically he didn't do that good he was low-key kind of locked up by um byron and marco they did their job and yeah i think that's just one of the reasons we came out with it before before i end this i, I do want to say we this was supposed to be an easy one for us and we did struggle as a team will struggle every game but still it should have been a easy win the fact that they almost had it in the fourth quarter still they could have done it is what scares me okay i mean titans are the only is the only game that we really have locked up and that was week one now we're going we're going to be heading to play the rams that's a dangerous team and if we keep playing like this i'm not sure about that our defense started off so good and then lost it and same thing with our offense our offense we had to punt the first drive, but you know what? We, we responded in the second and then just didn't do anything the rest of the half. So we got to bring that, that mentality we had in the Titans game of just scoring, 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 scoring. Or else the Rams might have us. So, yeah. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I upload daily content. So be sure to tune back in. That being said, I'll see y'all next week.